Greetings viewers and welcome to today's info sharing session. We'll be discussing how to import details into a journal batch. Now journals are used quite extensively within Sage and Evolution. For example, uh, cash book journal batches, GL journal batches, inventory, supply and customer journal batches. Now you may want to import information from an Excel file or an external source into a journal batch. And today's presentation will cover exactly how to complete or fulfill that particular procedure. I'm going to be using a GL journal batch as an example for our presentation today. So under general ledger transactions, I'm going to go into journal batches and create a new batch. Got my details there and I'm just going to specify some details about the references and I've got my batch. Now, very important, the fundamental to ensuring that you are able to import information into a batch successfully is that the file or the import file format needs to be correct. So the easiest way to do that would really be to create an export template and then export that information and then use that exported file as a template for you to capture information and then re-import those details into your batch. So very importantly to get the format correct. So to do that, I'm just going to go create a two line batch so that I know my template format is going to be correct. And just with a value of one as a debit, and then the same is going to apply with regards to a credit of one. So I've now got a two line, be it a debit and a credit, and this is going to be the template that I'm going to be using when I import information into a journal batch. So I'm going to just validate, all is in order, save, and at this particular point, I can now export this batch. So I'm gonna use the export feature, and you'll see that we can specify a location where to export the file to. And very importantly, the file should have or needs to have a .csv extension. Always good practice to export with the header record and then specify fill delimiter and details about the date format. So I've got my details there and I'm now going to export this file as a CSV format. So no errors and I can then go view the file that I've exported. So let's just go there. And there we have our exported journal batch. So now it really be a case of opening up the journal batch. And I would now use this export file to capture details that I'm intending to import into a batch. So there we go. There's our information that I've exported. And now really I can go and capture details that I want to import. So let's just go change a couple of options here. And make some changes to the reference. And let's just say, for example, And then just for example, specify a general ledger account. And we can keep the credit account the same. Right, so I've made my changes and then you would in this case, capture additional information that you'd want to import into your page. So I'm gonna file and save this information. And there we go, I'm gonna close the file and we can now use this import file or this particular batch in order for us to import. So I'm going to go back into my Satan program and close this particular batch and I may want to now open up a new batch. So I'm going to say for example And 
got my details there and batch number. Okay, and I'm now going to import into my batch. So I'm going to go to my batch option and import. And <clears throat> I've got my details there. Let's just go and browse. And once, once again, I am going to import with the header record. I'm going to go browse and specify the file that I'm intending to import. There we go, it's a .csv extension, and I've got all my information there. No errors were found, and there we go. I've been able to import, there's my accounts, account name, my references, descriptions, and there we have our values. So I've created a template, which I've been exported to ensure that the format of the batch is correct, and I now use that template in order for me to import information into a new batch. Validate, and I can then we can then go preview the batch before update. We preview the batch, and we've got our details there. Now we can go post the batch after previewing. Right, there we have it. So that really is the very quick and easy way for you to be able to import information into a GL journal batch. Now, just um, if we revert back to, for example, under customers, supplier, interview batches, we do have just a slight difference with when importing those type of batches. I've got my customer batches. I'm going to go to new batch and in this instance, I would once again create a one line batch, use that to export to create and ensure that my template form be correct. But just be aware is that upon import, if I go to batch import, we do have an additional option when importing customer supply and inventory batches. And this is the field mapping option. So under field mapping, you'll see that we've got some field mappings that you can make use of when importing. And if you notice is that we've got a couple of options there that um, are not accessible and just be aware that these fields are compulsory and we certainly need to form part of the columns on your input batch. So these would be, for example, transaction date, the account, the module, and the transaction codes. Those are the compulsory fields which must form part of the input batch. So just be aware is that when importing um, customer, supplier, and inventory batches, we do have an additional field mapping option that you can make use of. And as you can see, a real easy way for you to import information into journal batches within Sage Journal Evolution. The real fundamental here is ensuring that the import file format is correct so that the batch can be successfully imported. I do hope you've enjoyed our presentation today. Thank you for watching. It's over and out for me and goodbye.